Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech, and today we're again talking about the Elector uh, D12 True Wireless earbuds that I purchased and posted a pretty detailed review yesterday. I, I coming back with some battery info and. Uh, uh, some details I might have missed. So let's get right to the intro and we'll be right back. All right, folks, I am back as you can see, and uh, we're going over. Now, you may see some cutouts and edits in here. I've been sick all day. I mean, really, just after I did last night's video, uh, I got sick and I started throwing up and throwing up and I may have to take a break. So if I suddenly go, we'll be right back after this tube buddy ad, you know that that's the time I'm off to once again release food that I haven't eaten yet today. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Detailed info. Okay, first off, battery on these. I'm sure you want to know. I turned them on around noon. I was just laying in bed all day in between trips to the Pray to the Porcelain God. And uh, I just let them run. I don't, you know, I'm not going to sit there and leave them stuck in my ear the whole time. At just a little over, one notch over 50% volume. And that's plenty loud for me. And I just let them go. And they start flashing when they're running low on power. So at that point, I'll call that, I called it at six hours and 27 minutes. They hadn't completely turned off, but they were, you know, flashing to let me know life was bad. That is pretty good battery life when you consider you have a 2,600 milliamp hour battery to recharge them with. Oh yeah, that's the best. So they're recharging right now and I'm kind of keeping track of time on that. It's been a few minutes and uh, I'll uh, let you know by the end of the video. Uh, but I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it with all the light coming in, but uh, uh, maybe, yeah, they are charging. We're at 100% still in the case, so this hasn't even put a dent in it. I don't know how long they're gonna take to charge up, but uh, we'll find out. This is still uh, a fantastic investment. Is it, Are they worth your money? Let's get that out of the way right now. Hell yeah, they're definitely worth your money, folks. If you don't mind the clicky buttons. But you get the satisfying when you've done it right. You get a beep. I still have to uh, figure out the how to record the microphone. Hopefully, maybe El Jefe will watch this review and leave me some info on how to do that. So, some stuff I might have overlooked in the first video. You can pull these out one at a time. They're not tied together like the D10s were. Uh, and, uh, you know, the D10, you paired to the left one. It was a controller, and it had hooked to the right already. These you can use dual or put one away or pull the other one out and put that one away. And you can still answer phone calls with a single short beep. And if you hold that same button for one second or more, it'll go to the next track on the right ear. It'll go back a track on the left ear. And a pretty slick arrangement. Uh, definitely, definitely good. Sound as good, obviously, as I detailed in the initial review. Uh, I haven't found a thing wrong with them yet. But they produce really good sound. You're gonna have to tweak them a little. These are not going to give you super audio file sound. Get over it. 
So the uh, one detail uh, that I left out, though, was when you pull just one out or the other, you can swap back and forth. That's fantastic. But you're going to lose your volume control. It's just the way it is. No volume control. And you'll only be able to get on the, this here on your right ear, skip a track ahead. This one is not going to be there. Swap them around. The reverse happens. Other than that, it's still a cool deal. You know, and you can still pick up your phone, set your volume, and get it like you like it. And just listen to them all day and wait for that phone call to come in. Other than that, I don't have a lot to say. I would say I would purchase these for a few more dollars than these. The detents. Yeah, it's a lighter case. They're, they're cheap. They work well. They seem to get a tiny bit louder, but they also stick out of your ears. These tend to fit a little more flush, folks. A little more. And uh, we're still charging now after, oh, I don't know, 35, 40 minutes. But I'm sure that I probably got 50% battery on these. So I have to hook them back up. That's all I have for today. Uh, we're not even going to throw an ad in here and annoy you. But make sure to look at the description below. There will be links to these earbuds. There will be links to the version tech headphone, the Mi A2 that we're filming on as usual. Soon we'll have the Mi A3 with a micro SD card in it. We'll no longer have to juggle space and a little bit better camera setup. And Android 10. Ooh, well, this one has Android 10 also already. So, uh, That's all I got, and remember to like, share the video. One click to Twitter is worth the five seconds it takes. Just do it. And on that note, I'm going to get out of here because I hear my stomach rumbling again. Please subscribe. And I thank you for watching the whole damn thing. And we'll catch you in the next one. I don't know when. Oh, yeah, and we still don't have cable, it turns out. I forgot to mention that. I called Mediacom last night after 8 p.m. They were supposed to call me, and they never called. And they're, oh, that was fixed this morning. You just have to set up another appointment. And I was like, and I was supposed to psychically know this. You could have still called me and said something. So I have an appointment Saturday afternoon. So I work in the morning. So I'll be at work and then I'll sit around from, I believe they said one till five. Great. Just super fantastic. So I'll sit here all day. Not that I go anywhere, but I guess I'll just shoot videos. And now. That is the name of that tune. I'm about to be vaporized again. Ouch, it hurts.